Today we're looking at something that's really easy money. It's something I pay almost nothing for and sells routinely for a decent amount. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something that's pretty easy money for us. It's something I can find quite often pretty much all over the place in mass quantity. Everybody wants to be able to buy bulk of something. So today we're talking about magazines and I'm just going to center in on one. I happen to pick up hundreds of Ebony magazine. Now, many people may not think there's a ton of value in newer Ebony magazines, but just like any other magazine that I deal with, it depends on who's on the cover. I don't care what type of magazine it is if the right person's on the cover i can usually get 15 to 25 bucks on average depending on what platform i sell it on now these sell excellent on amazon as well as ebay like this one right here i should be able to get 35 to 50 bucks for this one again depending on platform and day of the week now when we get these i look through every single one i'll pull out all the ones that i think will have a value if i don't know if they have a value i will look them up but i have sold a ton of ebony magazine this one as i said is going to net me some good money price wise into almost 500 issues i have just a couple cents two or three cents into each one now i purchased these along with the magazine that I should get close to $4,000 for. If you want to see that video, there's a link right up here for you. As I said, swimsuit issues always sell well. On Amazon, these are 15 to 25 bucks a piece. eBay, about 15. It just depends on where you sell them at. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind adding an extra picture or two of some of the bathing beauties in the magazines at all. So here's a couple of them just to give you an idea. In fact, I've got another one here. The bathing suit ones usually do fairly well. It does very well for us, especially on Amazon. We've got Shaq. These usually sell fairly well. Again, this is EM, Ebony Man, which doesn't sell as well as Ebony, but since he's on the cover, I should get 15 to 25 again. I charge for shipping on everything. None of these are going media. They ship for around $5.90 at the most, most of these. Jordan on the cover, you can't beat that. This is going to be about 20 25 bucks, pretty easily on that one there. Magic Johnson as well. Now, I've covered up all the tags. These have little posties that I've cut down. And when I go to take pictures, this is how I'm going to take the pictures. Easy. I say this is easy money because I can list a whole bunch of these in a very, very short period of time. If I'm photoing these, I usually, if they're not worth more than, say, 40 or 50 bucks, only do the front and the back. And I use real nice images in the best possible keywords. I'll put who's on the cover. Um, I'll put any other key information, key articles or anything like that will also help these go. Out of the almost 500 issues that I got, probably around 125 of them will get me at least 15 bucks or better. Most of the other ones, the more common issues that I get like these here, I will put them together in a year. So I'll have a whole year's worth that somebody can buy. And I usually sell those from 50 to 100 bucks, depending on if anything special is in those issues. They do extremely well doing them in bulk lots. That's where the majority of them will go, but I'll make a ton of money just off of selling a few of these. All together, out of all of the issues, I may have 15 bucks total into 490 or so issues of Ebony and Ebony Men as well, too. Obviously, Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston, these are hot, especially, again, on Amazon. You can look these up. You'll see sales records anywhere from, say, 8 to, say, 25 bucks on most of the issues I am showing you. But I hold out. I don't care if other people are giving them away at 8 or 10 bucks. I put a higher price on them, and I almost always sell them for more than everybody else. And as I said, if you list these on Amazon, you're going to be able to blow some of these out fairly quickly at a good high price if it's the right person on the cover and things along that line. You need to SEO and keyword the heck out of these to make sure that they sell well. Most of the ones with Whitney, this is Whitney on tour, will get me 15 to 25 bucks. Whitney Houston again. So pay attention. Hopefully you know at least some of the major actresses and actors from the day. These are mostly 2000 or before. Now, if I go out for magazines, I usually don't buy newer ones than 2000, depending obviously on the magazine itself. The $4,000 plus dollar magazine I talked about just a few minutes ago, 
that one is from 97 and that's usually about the range of the weird high dollar ones that i find more whitney other issues like the quince quintuplets anything quintuplet i always sell for decent money prime example here you can see several copies of this selling and there's not a ton of these up most people just throw them up and say a lot and don't think there's much money in selling them individually most people don't want to worry about wrapping them or anything else like that and they're more worried about the quick money i can list 40 of these in an hour so it really doesn't take that long and photographing wise again front back and that's it it's just about like taking the photos of anything else it's fairly quick i have a stand i can slap the magazine in there flip it over and click 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 all i want so now this is a good one here now this is a recreation of a 1968 issue this is, i think is 86 yeah 86 this one does go for decent money 15 25 bucks again on average even though it's technically a rehash of the cover it does very well their 50th issue this is the 50th anniversary of the magazine i get very good money out of this one as well too i've had many of these before it is something that if i see a bunch of these and they're dirt cheap I buy them just like most magazines that have movie stars or movie actresses in them sports ones as well can do extremely well uh lionel richie as you can see here now this one has mike tyson i think that's holly berry yeah holly berry but mike tyson is on this one and mike tyson's gonna sell it it also has richard pryor in here so i would add richard pryor to the title as well patty labelle most of these will go for 15 to 25 bucks a piece as well 15 25 bucks 15 25 bucks vanessa williams i usually do fairly well on hers too these usually go better on amazon 25 to 40 bucks on some like this um aretha franklin again the musicians um especially those of it since past sell extremely well people want them as a collectible even the multi covered with michael jackson and things like that can go extremely well now i haven't even pulled through all of the ones i got i pulled out a stack i'm going to have somebody here take some quick photos and they'll be listed rather quickly I'll be able to get a bunch of these up in the very same day, if not all of them. So it's not a huge ordeal to do this. These are super easy to ship for us. I never have a question or a problem shipping them. These are issues I'm showing you that I'm going to sell for at least 15 bucks a piece plus shipping. Every one of these, so you can kind of get an idea on the better ones here. A Brandy fan's going to buy this one here. Now, Tony Braxton's on this one. Now, a lot of these styles of covers, I put sexy, the word sexy in there. Regardless of your opinions on it, it does seem to help many of these sell. Or I put pinup for the cover style image because it's a nice image there. Now, Eddie Murphy is another one that I do extremely well with most of the Eddie Murphy ones. Uh, there's a ton of Eddie Murphy fans out there. I'm a big fan as well. So all of these will sell extremely well also. So just to give you an idea here. Now, I got some that go all the way back a little way. So I've got like Billy D. Williams uh, in them. I've got B.B. King. So all of these do extremely well. Billy D. Williams, I just put Star Wars, Billy D. Williams, Lando Calrissian, Ebony Magazine, and boom. That should be enough to get it going. Same with something like a B.B. King. It's going to be B.B. King, R&B Blues Legend. Uh, that's going to sell this one as well. So you use the right keywords, you can do extremely well. Now, one thing I would say when you're going through these, if there's any rips like this one here, I'll just get rid of it. I'll donate it or throw it in the recycling. If the covers are coming apart, there's damage to it. Again, I don't mess with damaged or anything like that. I try to discard them. Literally, I'll throw them out uh, or, as I said, recycle them is usually what I do. Now, the ones I can't sell, the big bulk of the ones that I can't sell, I have several hundred that I can't sell on their own. So they'll be mixed up and put together in lots. And as I said, I'll pull out all the ones that go together for a specific year. There should be 12 issues per year with this magazine. Or if you have a stack with a whole bunch of the same people in them, you can put lots together, a Michael Jordan lot, an Oprah lot, or a Holly Berry lot, or anything like that. They do extremely well, as I said. I lot them up and I usually do six and with a lot of six I usually put them up for 37 to 39.99 and I will go from there I am usually able to get at least three to say six dollars a piece for those in bulk that way shipping again is not included in any lot that I do but as I said this is easy money believe it or not it's very easy you don't have to know much it has every piece of information you need to be able to keyword it 
to be able to price it because you can just look on eBay. Uh, worth point for some of these if you need worth point or, or anything like that. But they're super easy. Nothing to it. Again, photoing is very easy, front and back if they're newer issues. And even if they're not newer issues, just pick out something unique, something nice in the inside. If it's a swimsuit issue, obviously pick out someone in a swimsuit. Uh, that kind of thing will help them to sell. Uh, centerfold pictures or anything like that will also help them to sell. Now the type of magazine varies. There are a ton of different types of magazines that I can sell and get 15 to 25 bucks a pop. It far outweighs me selling clothing or anything else like that that take multiple images to portray correctly. I don't have to measure anything. There's nothing literally to it. Everybody knows what an Ebony magazine is or uh, any type of specific Saturday evening post or whatever you may wish to sell. We sell a ton of different magazines. I'm just showing you Ebony because I got a huge assortment in as well as a ton of other magazines. Now even if the magazine doesn't do very well you can still do extremely well if you market them correctly like the Tiger Woods one I showed you in the beginning. Most magazines with Tiger Woods on it I can usually get 15 bucks or better for. Even if the magazine itself isn't worth much someone may frame that and put it on their office wall. That's something I see quite often. Uh, like some of the earlier glamour magazines. I see people that frame them and put quite a few of them for an art display on the wall. Some of the cover art on some magazines is literally a work of art in itself. So these are areas that you can make a lot of easy money because you can list them in so many spots as well. As I say all the time, you need to know more than the other people. So if you know more than the people you are buying from, you are at the advantage and you can make more money. The more you know, the more money you will make no matter what. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. with magnetic wands. The bus pulls in the terminal, rushing for the train. It stops just in the nick of time and then zooms out again. A car speeds up the street. He must be late. Oh, too bad. There goes the railroad gate. Dad runs to the ticket window, has to pay his fare. Mom says, better hurry. The train will soon be there. Look, there's Union Station Special chugging down the track. Pull it in the station now. Everyone, stand back. Better tell that passenger to leave the flower shop. This lady wants some candy, but she has no time to stop. Boy, whoops, he missed. He's so mad, he's doing the twist. Get Union Station, complete with 74 parts, easy to put together. And remember, get magnetic-powered Thimble City wherever you get Union Station by Remco.